Welcome, welcome to everyone. I am Anthony Ndugwa and welcome to another exciting edition of the Entertainment and Creative Business segment with Business Day brought to you in partnership with the Movement Studios. Today I'm here with, you know, a top guru in the industry. Probably, I don't know if you have to say that, man, because you're, you're, you're big. You, you do stuff on, you, do, you do stuff in the music industry, like behind the scenes and, you know, it, 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 it's a crazy work behind the scenes um, in the music industry, but uh, we have a, a great man here, in, uh, Miss Mr. Lulu Olumideko. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, how has, how has it been like for you in the, in the past? Like, um, how, when did you get to the industry? How was um, going getting to music, the music business for you? How was it like when you start? Um, so, I've been here for seven years. Um, wow. Yeah, I've been doing this since 2017. Wow. Um, when I was in uni, so I went to University of Lagos. Okay. Um, I went to University of Lagos, and from then I started working with my friend as his manager. So I was his manager, and because I was his manager, I was able to walk into rooms and say, "Go oh, hire her, represent this person. I do this. This and this is what I do. This is the type of music he makes." And try to introduce myself as well as sell as the music. So since then, I've just been growing gradually, 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 gradually into another couple places um, and then kept on getting jobs and um, yeah, here I am now. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. But um, tell us about, walk us through your process of um, working with artists. I think you've done that whole um, since the beginning of your career. How has it like working with you, in, you know, on a smaller scale and you know, working with them on a larger scale that you are doing right now? Um, so I am more... I'm more invested or interested in artist development. So more often than not, I pick up artists from like ground zero, right? Ground zero um, and try to understand what the artist is about. And this is outside of just the music, right? I try to understand the personality and how that ties into the story that they're trying to sell. And when I say the story that they're trying to sell, it's not just on one song or one record, it's like, Cross board, so so you see whiskey and you see the guy from Australia where that was the studio grass when it was with them when two was recording and it was in the studio and then became the superstar that it is right now. So that's a story. It's not one story that, and it's not just one story that he put in one song. He put it across all his all all his catalog from going to from superstar to Made in Lagos to Mall of Mexico and it's yeah, probably his that. next project which is dedicated to his mom so it's, it's it just you want to cling to the story of the artist and understand the artist and then you are the first buyer of that product what mm -hmm. that means is you are you are the first person to buy into what they are selling buy into the brand not just like the art the music that you create the, um the last question is, um, where do you see yourself in the next um, decade? Do you see yourself like in the music industry in Nigeria? And if so, what ideas do you think will change the music in Nigeria in the next decade? Um, in the next decade, yes, I'll still be here. Um, music business is a very, is usually, is very passion based. You're not doing it. I didn't get into it for money, right? Uh, money came along or whatever. It means of livelihood came out. And even if I wasn't hundred percent in music business and I was doing something else, I'll still be here. I'll still be finding ways to double in and work with music and work with artists because it's something that I'm very, very passionate about. So in the next ten years I I will still be here. Um hopefully in a different sphere and in a different light, <laughs> generally different rank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. doing more exciting stuff hopefully um and what i think would right you rightfully said AI yeah, would be the other of the day in helping like people like myself who are navigate the navigate the industry or navigate the work it will be the, the world will not be easier it will just be that we'll be able to focus on more complex complex issues that the AI maybe cannot solve, which is, like I said, the human part of the job. Um, and it will just be easier to fix, to use that to figure out how to navigate your way around. But aside that, um, 
for the Nigerian music industry, I, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing extreme growth for Afrobeat. I'm seeing extreme growth for Afrobeat, and I'm seeing that, I mean, Afrobeat has started a wave right now, um, and it's only just going to keep on getting bigger and getting bigger and getting bigger and getting bigger, and hopefully in the next decade, the wave is as large as it needs to be. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lulu, for your time. Thank you very yeah. much. And um, thank you so much, our viewers. Uh, we appreciate your all your efforts to streaming our, our, our content. Uh, I, I, I want us, we're going to do this more. We're going to get you more content. We're going to get you more people. And um, shout out to our, our, our partners, Movement Studios as well. Thank you for having us here. And for more content, uh, subscribe, uh, subscribe to www.businessday.ng. I'm your host here, Antonio Luba. Thanks for